it is important as a high value lady that you should not be found in classless drama because i call it classless it's very classless for you to engage in unnecessary dramas hi guys welcome to yet another beautiful video guys if this is the very first time you see my pretty face please and channel to make your last and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back to the channel please ensure you subscribe to the channel if you're yet to subscribe guys in today's video we're going to be talking about something very interesting and something controversial and what is that we're going to be talking about what are the things that a high value lady should not be found doing this video is basically for any lady that is so interested in growth you're so interested in you know being a better version of yourself and you want to just stand out among the crowd this video basically is based on my own personal um, opinion and it has been something that has been working for me over the years and i best believe that yeah if it's something that can work for me why not just spill out the secret because it's something that it has been working for me and i i'm not i'm not i'm not just going to be gatekeeping because you guys are my besties it's not like we're there yet but we are trying to become better so let's get started first on my list is a high value woman should never compromise our values now you should ensure that you stay true to your belief things that you know that it works for you for example you're somebody who is very honest and you've been seeing so many people that they've not been honest it works out for them and you're a very honest person my darling stay on that value because it makes you stand out it makes you a better version of yourself it makes you a better person so do not compromise your value and your belief because of you see so many people doing the opposite do you get as a high value lady you want to become better you want to stand out you should not compromise your value you should not compromise what you believe it is good and it works for you for anything okay that makes you stand out so next on my list do not engage in unnecessary drama now we get to see a lot of dramas out there on social media we know that every time for my girlies those things are so classless you should not be found dramas that will just stain your name i know people would push you but maintain class maintain that balance as a high value person you should not be found you should not be caught unnecessary fighting all those trying to like show yourself worth and all that once you start talking it starts reducing or devaluing yourself okay so it is important as a high value lady that you should not be found in classless drama because i call it classless it's very classless for you to engage in unnecessary dramas ensure you stay out of unnecessary dramas that would drain your energy that would drain your growth and all so a high value lady stays off unnecessary dramas next on my list is a high value shouldn't get validation from others now because of you you're looking at yourself that you're not wearing the most expensive wig you're not wearing the latest designers and you look at yourself that let me ask this person and say that oh how does this outfit i'm putting on is it is it better is it this is it that no somebody who has a high value has already has been to his or herself has already done a lot of rehearsals at the back you know read a lot of books so you should not be seeking validation from people out there mm -mm, don't do that instead of doing any of that ensure that you embrace your uniqueness because we are all unique in our own ways now you could be seeing a lot of persons on social media that they are so better they're better you think that they are better of you my darling you they are not better of you you are better that is what you need to tell yourself stand in the front of the mirror every time every morning and say that i i am confident i i am unique that makes you validate yourself so it is important that you embrace your uniqueness do not seek approval from people and because people will bring their own opinion about you they'll tell you that oh no this shade of black is not really nice on you it is this particular shade. another person will come and say ah this shade of black i've seen it several times that they will come and meet me, meet me and tell me ah this black color dress 
this black dress looks so good on you. Another person will come and say, this person, this black dress doesn't look good on you. She gets. So it is important that you have already validated yourself already because a lot of people will bring their own opinion. Validate yourself first before another person starts coming. Do not allow people's words to get into you. Next on my list is settling in toxic relationship. As a high value person, as a high value lady, you should not settle in for toxic relationship. Now, toxic relationship that you get to see that a lot of violence is there. Once you see that a relationship that you are into does not value you, does not add to you positively, walk out of it. That is what a high value person will do because you are unique. You are somebody who is powerful. I tell most of my ladies, most of my girlies that as a lady, you carry a lot of power that you yourself would not just, you, you can't imagine it. So it is important that you ensure that you work off it. Those relationships that do not add to you, that cause you a lot of mental breakdown, work out of it. A lot of ladies recently are just, are just broken physically, mentally, emotionally because of their in toxic relationships. So it is important that as a lady, ensure that you enter into something that would add to you, not devalue you, not disrespect you. Work with things that work in a relationship that aligns with you. Work in a relationship that aligns with your mental health. Another tip for me to you girlies is you should not be afraid to say no. Once you say no to something, they automatically believe that this person would not accept this. She would definitely not accept this. Saying no is setting boundaries. Saying no as a lady to certain things is more or less respecting yourself setting priorities right this on my list guys is avoid comparing yourself to others now there's a lot of things out there like the social media vices that is just making a lot of people believe that they are not better my darling social media is not real life that's the truth social media is not real life i tell people a lot because that is why it, that is where a lot of ladies or a lot of girlies get to like see that oh i see this person why am i not like this person why am i not like why am i not like diana why am i not like priscilla they will start comparing themselves to no no they will start comparing themselves to this why am i not like this why am i not like that that is bad as a very high value person no no is no no because she is a representative of herself diana or diane is is Diane because she is a representative of herself. Priscilla is Priscilla because she's a representative of herself. These people are different people. The content that they even create are different. The way Priscilla's personality is, is different from the way Diana's um, or Diane's personality is different. So it is important for you to understand as a high value lady, you know, you want to become better. You should create that thing that makes you stand out, makes you a better person, makes you unique, makes you different. Because I don't, there, there are certain things I see in Priscilla and I do not see it in Nunu and I do not see it in Diane as well. So these are different people. They are different people and you are different. So do not compare. What you need to do is that they should inspire you to become better, not comparing that. Ah, why is this person not like, no, 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 no. You should say that one day when I get the money, I'm going to get it. You should say that this person is young and I want to become better. That is, that's what you ought to say. Not like start comparing. No. Our journeys are different. One thing that most people do not understand is that these people, despite the fact that they are out there, they have 2 million, 10 million followers on YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever, whatever, and all of that, you are they are not better off you. I'm telling you the truth. Because what you can do, definitely they cannot do it. What A can do is different from what B can do. I'm sorry if I'm making use of your, your, your faves. But the truth remains that as a high value person, you are unique. You should tell yourself that you are a better person. Yeah, and that's the truth. That's the hard truth for you all to swallow. So do not compare to um do not compare yourself to another person. What you need to do is that these people should inspire you to become better. The comparison is equal to jealousy. I see a lot of persons, and it's something that I've witnessed in my very own eyes. 
I don't compare myself to another person. I can only admire you and want to become better. A high value person would always believe that she is unique. She is better. She can become better. So I tell people every time that do not compare. Always ensure that you take whatsoever they get to do outside to become better. And also ensure that you read books. Readers are leaders. Reading makes you better off. If you cannot read, we all have mobile phones that you know that you cannot carry book and be reading. Your phone is there for you. There are even audio sounds that can make you just listen. If you can't, you can listen to you can listen to Spotify. There are so many motivators there, inspirational uh, um, leaders that would tell you these are things you need to do. These are things that you need to become better. I listen to this lady on Spotify. Very good lady. I think her name is Kanao Kamal or something on Spotify. And this lady talks about being a better version of yourself. Different inspirational speaker like John Rom. Different books like 48 Laws of Pass. So many books that will make you better, guys. So invest in things like that. Not compare yourself with others, you know. Because every journey of every individual is different. And once you embrace your uniqueness... Is definitely going to be leading you to a beautiful destination that you yourself cannot imagine and that's just the honest truth and so finally guys uh my last tip is do not dwell on your mistake a high value lady should not dwell on her past mistakes now which is to tell us that as a high value person as a high value lady your mistakes should be seen as experiences that you need to work on to become better it is very normal for you to make mistakes that makes you a human now because of you make that mistake should not make you dwell on it so now what you need to do is that you ensure that your mistake do not devalue you but they should make you stronger that you should not make the same i tell myself that this particular mistake i'm not making it again at this particular error i am not making it again and that should make me a better that makes me a better person but basically yeah that's just it do not allow your mistake you know do not dwell on your mistake what you need to do is just ensure that you become a better version of yourself ensure that you grow thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for listening guys also always remember that as a high value person a high value person is somebody who has respect for herself a high value person is somebody who believes in continuous growth so thank you so much guys for listening thank you so much my girlies and sure you drop a comment as regarding vi this video telling us your thoughts and also telling us things that a high value lady should not do we've come to the end of today's video thank you so much for listening bye guys